Hey everyone, it's Gracie from Steel Streams, and as you can see, it's just me today. Um, Joe is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> so, uh, today I'm doing a solo game. I'm doing Detective Grimmery. It is a point and click style uh, challenge. Sound is important. Okay, well, good thing I have headphones. So, this is a point and click style detective game that I just saw in the Steam store, store and it was on sale, so I decided to buy it. I'm a fan of point and click storytelling. I, I'm, I love detective stuff. I like to think I'm a little bit of a good detective. Not really, I used to really like Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. 25 last oh. night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this swamp. A small a tourist attraction deep within the heart of the marsh. Hold on. A tourist attraction here in a marsh that's strange I don't I know get it why would anyone come here by choice kind of I've on with you this at that already one. this area is famous famous all I for what is that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago <laughs> Get your okay, so we're dealing with aliens. We're talking about a creature that's lived in the swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old alien. I still don't see why it matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. It must be the that muck creature monster. is our prime suspect. Mm -hmm. The murder suspect? That's right. This is no Loch Ness monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? You've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only know the bare essentials at this point. Hmm. Let's see. Police file. Richard Remington, founder of tourist attraction Boogie's Bog, was found out outside his office at 2045 last night. Exact cause of death unknown. Three small wounds to the chest suggest an attack from a clawed creature. Hmm. Slime around the wound and the footprints found at the scene suggest the culprit was Boogie, the legendary swamp creature. Ooh. Any of the seven other people present in the swamp last night could hold vital information. Okay, so I thought there was going to be more pages of text. Let's see. Is that him? He looks. That looks like the, the captain. Does everybody here have blue hair? Or at least blue mustaches? And he seems to have been killed on a dock i guess found out dead outside so he wasn't in his office wounds and there were three of them right in a row okay so it's supposed to look like the claws from the footprints the suspect okay he's funny looking so yeah this is kind of my chance to play a little bit of uh games by myself as i was saying before I was a huge fan of Scooby-Doo when I was a kid, and I love murder mysteries and mystery books and trying to put all the clues together and, and putting the puzzle together together to get the bigger picture. Um, Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this uh, tourist attraction. Why did I bother reading Bobby's all that then? <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Boggy is the name of our creature. Boggy. Well, not Boogie. Nowadays it is. Boggy. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. That thing is our murder suspect. There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character. I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Hmm. I'm also really excited to play this game because I did just get a new recording software. Uh, Joe and I were having all kinds of issues when we were trying to use OBS. I was using OBS, he was using Bandicam, and just the quality difference alone, ugh, especially in like some of our Heroes of the Storm gameplay, you can tell. Like The OBS was just cropping everything, and I couldn't find a way to fix it. All the forums online, I tried everything that people were suggesting, and it didn't work, so I tried out tons and tons and tons and tons of other programs and uh, one of the biggest issues that we ran into is that some of these programs were great but I couldn't get any in-game sound. I tried downloading Soundflower, I tried downloading specific software that some of these uh, recording softwares came with 
And finally, I found one that worked. I'm using ScreenFlow. This is kind of my first time trying to record an episode with it. I did a couple test recordings uh, before I ended up buying the program. It is It was pricey, but I see it as kind of an investment. Um, so I'm really excited your to case to use files it. in the top right. Okay. You can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. Okay. When you've collected some, of course. <sighs> I'll stay and guard <laughs> our boat. So if you're confused, come back here and I'll help you. Hmm. Okay. So I try to. That's where I need to go. Okay. I can switch to walk mode with the button in the bottom right. Okay. Oh. And if I'm feeling confident... I'm feeling confident. I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the options menu. Hmm. All right. Let's see. We're going to do that because we don't want any help unless it gets really difficult. Ugh, I don't know. Ooh. Hi there. Aha! Wow. You didn't get lost yet. No, I... Well, I only just got here. Who are you? You don't remember. <laughs> Why should I remember? Because you're not great at remembering. I should be offended, though. I've never seen you before. You were that weird girl from the fairground. I remember you, but I've been trying to forget. I... No, I've, I've never, never seen, seen you, before. you before. Saw your hat blow through here already. You must be slow. If <laughs> it wouldn't even wait for you. Well, that was actually like pretty me, good. I'd better go for it. <laughs> You can wait here. She burned you. I get lost. I would never forgive myself if I let you go through without the map. You have a map of the swamp? Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really <laughs> stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Uh, Although I suppose you know all about it already. They're saying it was the creature, but it can't be him. I really it like the art like style the of this. Creature. Nope. Game. It's, it's very sort of unique. Creature. And the Wait, animations of the mean? characters if are you... just so hmm. flamboyant. She disappeared. disappeared. It's hard to, for somebody that you're talking to to just like disappear. To imagine. Imagined her. Some of the options were saying that you knew her. Just my luck, the gate's closed. It looks like I can move these metal latches around. I should just have to slide at least one of them out of the bottom of the lock. Then I'll be able to get through this gate. Probably. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So the chain is only so long, so I can't pull them insanely uh, far away from each other. But it says I only need one, but I have a feeling that the more you get, the easier it will be. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. So you got to get it all the way out. Can I do it this way? Hey, oh. nice. I might get one of these from my office. I don't know if it was that easy to get around. You might not want to. <laughs> this is the tourist attraction? The whole thing just doesn't make sense to me. Let's do some thinking. Drag any two stray thoughts into those slots at the bottom and flick through the connecting statements in between to make a sentence. Hmm. That's really interesting. Tap the confirm button to try it out. Okay. I just have to focus my thoughts. That's a and really a interesting, um... Boggy's bog seems like the middle of nowhere. This is a really interesting element to it, and it, it really kind of helps you map everything out. I bet at some point, once you start to get, um statements that start to put everything together it, it shows you all of it so you can kind of get your thoughts in order and I really like that let's see Boogie's Bog seems in the middle of nowhere the tourist attraction isn't warm enough for it's far too remote for I think a swamp is far too remote for happen to murder someone to make any money to be so smart Let's see okay so there's only so many different statements you can't make too stupid for is way too big for isn't warm enough for it's 
far too remote for. Okay, so there's about four different variations. Ultimately, 16 different options of the kind of statements you can make. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money, I would think. It's in the middle the swamp of nowhere. Is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Hmm. It's really bugging me. I don't know if, if that was the right one. I guess. What's the story behind this place? Cafe museum. I feel like we, I need to talk to people. And I feel like people be more inclined to I should visit the, the crime scene before I do anything else. Okay, well, where is... I think Officer James said it was to what the west. What eyes? Okay, west. So then, we're going to the museum. Protest. I wonder... These flower petals seem a little out of place, lying on the ground over there. Okay, so you can click on items in your surroundings. These flower petals. Okay, it's just the same thing. Actually, no, I don't want to just yet. A rather prominent tree stump looming over the wooden pathway. Prominent. It's hard to ignore. Why? Why would you use that word, prominent? It looks like this path leads towards the northwest corner of Bongi's Bar. I can't wait. Okay. Let's just continue on. Okay, so all of these these scenes that look like there's nothing going on, there has to be something to it. There's a narrow path here leading up that hill and through the trees. That could be a way that it... Uh, it doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. It might be a way for a killer to get through, um, to escape. Let's see. Rocks sitting in the water like stepping stones. Okay. If that was a natural occurrence, it's a very convenient one. This area is kind of empty. I can't see anything worth writing down. I guess it wants me to go towards the office, but I will. I am curious about following that path. I should visit the point. crime scene before really? I do anything else. I think Officer James said it was. Oh, so did off the path? Okay. I didn't realize I was continuing west. So, this is where they found Remington's body. Okay, next. Ah, there we go. A map of tourist attraction, Boggy's Bog, generously donated by the mysterious little girl at the entrance. When I'm exploring the swamp, I can access my map from the map button in the corner. Okay, at first I was like, that's gonna be a really redundant sentence. Okay. And we got no new pictures. Nothing new from that. I'm gonna check out this map really quick. Outside office clearing protest crossroads. So it might be really helpful to try to knock all these out as soon as possible and kind of get a better idea of what's going on in this area. There's an open window above Remington's body. Hmm. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. Ah, uh, I can't get in here without a key. And I don't feel like kicking the door down. Maybe if I get desperate later on. What are all, okay, so I see footprints, like regular foot footprints, so shoe footprints, sorry. And then I see these monster footprints that are going to the door. Doesn't look like they're going inside, they're just kind of going around and then coming down. That's interesting. There are bizarre footprints with three toes leading up to the office door and back down into those reeds by the water. What are these? These footprints. There are bizarre footprints and back. No, I want to. I want to look at these. Footprints. There are bizarre foot and back down. Ah, uh, I can't get in here. Okay. Maybe. What's this? There's a lockpick dropped amongst the weeds down here. And I just have to work out which vine to break and tap that button. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. So all I have to do is follow one of these ends. All right, that's a leaf. So that's the end of it. All I have to do is tap the button once I find the end. And I can find the end by just following it. Ah, three. That's the one. But I wonder where this lockpick came from. Lockpick discarded near the entrance of Remington's office covered in strange liquid slime, most likely used by the murderer to break into Remington's office. 
But I could use it to get into Remington's office, right? Ah, uh, I can't get into me. Hold on. How do I... Lockpick. Can I select an item? To use it? Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back to that. Clues. Crime scene. So are there going to be more clues in this area that I just need to click on and try out? I don't like it here. I don't like it. I don't like it. The strange reads. footprints stop right by these reeds. Maybe I should take a closer look. Maybe I can move some of them out of the way. Ooh, I see a three-toed foot. Oh, jeez, that flippers. surprised me. Badly hidden in the reeds outside the office. So they're flippers. So they're not real. So it's not a real person. Strange green flippers who left these lying around. So somebody killed Remington and tried to make it look like a monster. Obviously. Right? Right. <laughs> no, I can't use that. What is this? That That's new. Okay. Foggy, mysterious creature. Which one? Has not been officially sighted for 60 years. Nothing on page two. Remington. Mr. Remington. Thought he was found outside of his office in the swamp. Remington received three small wounds on his chest. Remington has mysterious slime around his wounds. So some of, some of these seem a murder victim. Okay. Some of these seem a little redundant. I guess those are the, the people, though, involved, the suspects. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go... Wait. Oh, hello. Ah, some suspects. Let's get this investigation started. Hmm? Hmm. All right, let's see. Another suspect for my notebook. I think when I'm done here, I'm gonna that's go back, rude. because since there was a walking no, option, I might I'm go back sorry. up. Maybe that's when I can that use the lockpick. Maybe I not. Didn't realize Maybe that I can hear your I thoughts. I forgot about so that. So would you be able to answer my questions before I asked you? Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? I could try. I'm Bobby okay. Burl, professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Grimoire. I'm here Grimoire. to investigate last night's murder. Okay. Obviously. I would say Grimoire. Strange. Grimoire. Is that your first That's name? much more sophi sophisticated. Oh dear, I wasn't paying attention. It's my second name. Detective is my first name. That's a very sassy way to answer. It's my second name. Detective is my first name. Your job. Where were you last night? You were here yesterday, I presume? Last night? Yes, I was. Uh, here? Because we know what his hearing? job is. He's a no, cameraman. I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. Richard Remington was there, too. Remington? You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. He left I the cafe saw. looking rather ill. I offered to help, but he just wanted to go back to his office. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He hmm. was ill yesterday? Perhaps it was something he ate. So he knew somebody was following him. Your job. So you already told me what you do, but now, why would a cameraman be working here? I go where I'm needed. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp, and I was happy to help. Vincent Vanderpeer. Vincent. You mean that man here? standing on that rock over there? Okay. That's right. I've worked with him for many years. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We night. worked together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission until about a week ago. Hmm. Oh, really? Wonder why that but is. Why did he want to come here in the first place? If you're looking for a reason to write down in your notebook, I'm sure he can tell you if you ask him. I'm just the guy who carries around the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. Ooh, we got lots of clues from him. Um, you know, I'm gonna go back. I want to talk to this man here. Yes. Do you have a message for me? Uh, you're a no, snooty bastard. I, I don't. I mean, think so. Then why are you here? I I'm mean, incredibly busy. Uh, you don't look. You good. look very. Who snooty. are you anyway? What a question. You're serious? I am Vincent Vanderpeer, the famous movie director, the artist, the visionary, movie. the auteur. Hmm. I'm a man of many talents. So they would benefit from a monster being here. It would could be a whole based on a true story type of movie. Let's see. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my questions. This is very talented beard you've got at least. 
I've heard your work was going downhill lately. Best not to piss the man off, because then he probably won't help. I'm going to cut That's right to the great. chase. Let's hope you have a talent for answering my because questions. We gotta get During this ball the on the road. Take a few steps ball back, rolling please. on the road. But then I'll be too far away to talk to you. I know. Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? Let's see. A ghost? Only recently got permission from... Has always had permission from... Forrest offered to help. Vincent Vanderpeer uh, to film here in the swamp. Richard Remington. Vincent Vanderpeer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. Vanderpeer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. The challenge topic will now be available when talking to Vincent. Find the truth. Challenge unlocked. Wasn't given permission to film here. Hmm. Let's see, how much time do I have? I think I'm going to cut it here. Um, it's, to kind of keep the episode short, I will be doing another episode. Um, hopefully I'll be doing a full playthrough so that we can get to the bottom of Richard Remington's murder. Uh, but for now, for today, this is it, guys. Thank you for joining me in this Let's Play Detective Grim Grimoire. Grimoire. That's what it is. It's like noir. Like a film noir. Like detectives. And okay, I get it. I get it. I get the play on words. <laughs> but thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope that you will want to look at some of the other videos we have to offer. Jonathan and I do a lot of co op videos. This is kind of my own little side project that I'm going to be starting. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, share this video with all your friends. <laughs> And find, you can find us on all the social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, we've got it. So thanks, guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.